hey guys welcome to my youtube channel so i'm not even going to do that at all i'm not going to interact with you. this video is the video this video is that video that's going to give you the tips you need to get a distinction in anatomy you probably in 200 level you're probably doing your anatomy physiology about chemistry about to start your journey or you're very close to your exams and you need tips for you to get a distinction in anatomy you guys are doing anatomy is one prop one course that gives students a lot of problems like anatomy is just like Ugh. it's like it's, it's a lot of workload in anatomy because it's a lot of workload in anatomy people students tend to find it very problematic it's a very problematic course to a lot of students and so i have made this video where i have compiled various medical students from different universities you have been lag where you and these students are not just ordinary students are students that have gotten a distinction in anatomy before and so they will tell us how they did it the steps that gave them an edge over every other person in scoring a distinction in anatomy if you know you want to get straight anatomy you should definitely keep watching this video <laughs> of Lagos and I scored 70 in my anatomy exam. I'm Olagude Olaoluwa, a 500 medical student in University of Medical Sciences, Ondo. I got the distinction. My name is Goodness. I am a medical student at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. I got a distinction in anatomy, which is basically equivalent to a to an A grade in anatomy, I think in most federal universities. So an A is above 70 and that's the same thing as a distinction. Um Shume from Manu. Uh, a part for medical students um, uh, from Bafem Awolo University. Well it was my practical my Steeple chase, anatomy steeple chase. I went for dissections a lot. I was always the one in front doing the dissection. I was always the one identifying, studying, doing the tutorials, even during the dissection process. Basically, I answered as many questions as I could in the amount of time we were given. I didn't waste too much time on one question. I had an outline to answer my questions, and in all my questions, I made sure that. I added the diagram. Even where it was not necessary, I know that they are not going to give me a negative mark for adding the diagram. So I would say it would be the use of visual aids. I drank anatomy atlases, netter, grades, you name it. I loved them. And I spent a lot of time studying them. I spent sent spent a lot of dedicated time going over them and just um, going through them because it really helped me visualize these anatomical structures and the boundaries and the content um, as I needed to. The simple idea of networking with my fellow colleagues, I had some like-minded comments that I could let talk with, we could discuss, solve some questions we see online and it was, re it was, really, it was really insightful and helpful. Oh, I gave anatomy more time, it's voluminous, so I gave it more time than others and also I attended the practicals. Yes, I did study anatomy differently, definitely. I studied anatomy differently and first thing I know is I studied, I went through my atlas a lot, the Frank Netta's atlas of anatomy, I went through it a lot, I was in love with it. So I spent more time reading anatomy. Now, this is not advisable for anybody that is trying to balance their courses. If you know you are not looking for a distinction or something. I wasn't looking for a distinction in particular, but I guess I just found myself studying anatomy more than physiology and biochemistry, but I won't advise anybody to do that, except you are trying purposely to get a distinction. Then also, I always went through my histology slide. I don't think I studied it too differently, but I do know that for anatomy, I really focused on I realized that there was too much um, content in anatomy that required memorization and because of that I really decided to focus on okay I need to repeat this specific um, information so that I can learn it and I can memorize it essentially so that I know this um, over the long term. The usual cliche, try and understand and try to link it to the other courses so it makes sense since it's memory heavy. 
I had study hacks that I used during my anatomy MV and first thing I know that helped me was I watched a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of YouTube videos, crash course, uh, this Indian guy, this Amando Hasidungan. I watched these videos also then I took a lot of online tutorials can help anatomy and I had this mobile application teach me anatomy which also helped with my anatomy knowledge and everything I don't think these are really secrets per se but I think they're things that really helped me so the first one is be consistent and stay consistent I don't think that's a secret um, in terms of how important consistency is and the second thing I would say is that um, I would like for me it was really helpful to look at anatomy look at look at not just anatomy actually looking at studying in general as something that could be fun as something that had the potential to be fun it's not always fun um i don't think anything is always fun but like looking at anatomy and reading and learning these new concepts and learning these new things as something that could actually be really enjoyable and since i'm doing it anyways why not just enjoy it and have fun you can't you in a for anatomy you can't just you can't just know everything. Even in medical school, you can't really just know everything. But for anatomy itself, because of the volume of what you have to do, the reading you have to do, you just can't you just can't know everything. So you one one good thing that will really help is discussion Apart from that, because it's, I'll not come here and start saying what you have to do. It's not only reading that you you want you want to be but apart from reading you have you have a network of life knowledge that you do have that really will help spur you on you've read something the this you guys discuss and yeah i hope i've been able to pass across some information this video is helpful to you and you like it please don't forget to click that thumbs up button i'm chile raka i'm going to fifth year med school and I make videos about my med school journey, I make med school vlogs, I give med school advice on med school challenges, everything basically that concerns me being in med school at this very point in time, especially since I entered my clinicals, that is what this channel is all about. <laughs>